Hello, I'm Jason. I'm Julie. And we're Destination Full Time. So, what do you want to talk about, Julie? Well, how did we become full-time RVers? Well, we've been full-time RVers for a th little over three years now. Yep. And our trip to full-timeism was not without a few bumps, right? Correct. You want to talk about the bumps? No, you can't. <laughs> so, I guess I'm to blame because it was kind of my idea as almost everybody that started doing this in the last three years, we started watching YouTube and next thing you know, COVID happens and we're all able to work remote. So that set us up for this journey that uh, we've been on. And so that's when you said, Hey honey, remember all these full timers were watching on YouTube. We're going to do that too. You want to do it now? And I'm like, okay. Yeah, why wait till we're older and uh, things hurt and you can't do things as, uh, as well as you can now. Right. So we decided to do it now. The only challenge we had was we had a daughter that was just about to start high school. Mm -hmm. So did you she convince her? She'd actually just started <laughs> high school, but it was remote. Did you convince her this was a good idea? I did convince her because of the whole, you could have Instagram pictures anywhere. Isn't that so amazing? But eventually she changed her mind after we'd sold everything and well, already moved into our weekender at that point. Well, we, we had this bright idea that we would sell the house, move into our weekend RV, and then figure out what we wanted as far as our full-time RV. All during that time, we had to finish up some commitments that we had. So we knew we were going to be at a local RV park for about three months while we were doing all this. Now, I don't know why we thought <laughs> that we were going to get an RV in three months, but we didn't even decide what we wanted for three months. Yeah. And Looking back, that was pretty stupid. It was pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention getting financing to buy an RV when you already sold your house. Yeah, so. don't do that. <laughs> buy the RV before you sell the house. Learn that the hard way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And of course, during that time, our daughter decided it was time to put down roots and she no longer <laughs> wanted to go on the road. She wanted to go to high school in person. Yeah. So she decided she wanted to go and we said, okay, I guess what we can do is we're still going to go travel, but we'll do more weekend type things. If it's a vacation from school, we're out. You're going or you're not going, you have to decide. So she was working by then. So she chose to stay with friends if we went places because um, she was always at work anyway. So it didn't even matter to her. She didn't skip a beat with what she was doing, loved school in person. And um, then we just kept planning for when she was done and ready to go. And she helped us plan because she ended up finishing high school in three years instead of four. So she yeah. could go because she was ready to go. Yeah. Um, she, yeah. So she, she's a very independent young lady. So she graduated early and uh, two got weeks, an apartment. Yeah. Two weeks later, moved into an apartment with a friend and has been working and supporting Multiple herself jobs, literally yeah. all by herself for the, for since she moved out. So. Yep. Doesn't ask us for a dime. It's great. <laughs> yeah. So we've, we, uh, we had a kind of a full time or not a full time, but a home base, I guess you'd call it for two and a half of those three, three, over three years, mm -hmm. um, that we would come back to. So I guess last July we gave that up and hit the road permanently full time with no coming back anywhere. Um, so that so was, we're homeless now. Yeah. Do you feel sorry for us? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, um, We've had a blast. Yeah, last year we went all up and down the uh, East Coast, up to Northern Wisconsin, and and all the we're in Florida now, so kind of all the way up and down. Got trips planned this this year. Uh, same thing, all the way up to Michigan this year, and and also into Wisconsin. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And um, so we're excited for uh, what the year is uh, going to bring. So, and how long ago did we start the channel and why did we decide to do it? Yeah, we started our YouTube <laughs> channel about a year and a half ago, I mm -hmm. guess. And um, really just to, I mean, we had always kind of wanted to do it, but then we figured um, we had so many people asking us questions and people that we knew from back in our sticks and bricks days, wondering what, what are you Nobody doing? Nobody believed that we weren't homeless. They all thought that like we lost everything. They didn't understand that literally we sold everything and we bought something and it was confusing if you're not if it's not something you're familiar with yeah we had we had people i had people that worked for me ask me how do i go to the bathroom 
and, and I literally <laughs> too. I literally said the same way you do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not that much different. It was a foreign concept for a lot of people. And we had friends that offered us um, their basement to stay in or their spare room. To like, stay no, in. I'm gonna go in my RV and leave. What do you mean? I'm not staying. <laughs> yeah. So once we got the uh, the momentum here, about three three and a half months after we got it it had to be repainted because the some of the paint was bubbling on it so we had to ship it back to indiana to for be, the entire summer yeah so we had three months uh, of nothing to do staying in a cabin on a river which wasn't a horrible thing oh my god happen, beautiful but, cabin beautiful river yeah bored out of our minds once we were done with work every day now yeah, what there do was we go to town what do we do yeah there was nothing to do so we're yeah. like now's the time let's yeah. do it so yeah. we started the youtube channel and i think um LJ Georgia, where we were staying, is our first, one of our first videos that yeah. we did. And boy, have they improved since then. <laughs> yeah, so if you go back to the beginning, you're going to laugh. But yeah. now it's we've gotten better mm -hmm. practice, and, and it makes perfect all that fun stuff. Yeah. So we've been having a ball with it now. It's a lot of fun. Welcome to our home on wheels. <laughs> okay, so I can talk about the curtains. We added the curtains so that it, would, it gave it more of a homey feel. Yeah, so these used to have pieces that came down the sides. The side, yeah. side lights is what they call them, I think, right? I don't know. Yeah. So when you close this, you can still see outside, but yet it's more private. So I did linen and white, which is crazy, but I did white so that you can still see through it. In the back, we have gray just because it could get dirty back there but you can still see outside so that's what we love the curtains that was a one of our big things that we did internet so you'll have to go up top to see the internet if you can reach up there i don't know it's all above this cabinet but uh -huh. the the momentum comes with its control unit up in the top and so i removed that you want router and put a pep link pep wave router in it and uh, so now we have full internet, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, and Starlink on the outside as well. And all that runs through that. I can control the RV anywhere. Um, of course, I use the One Control app to control everything inside the RV. Very easy, always have connectivity. We both work, so that's very important. That's probably the biggest upgrade. Got rid of the uh, cheesy antenna on the roof, put a better one on it um, for full connectivity, so. Yeah, and that's that's most important upgrade we did to be absolutely. able to maintain the lifestyle of being on the road. But I would say, you know, the thing about that that means a lot to you is decorating to make it feel more like a home. So I don't yeah. know if you want to talk about some of the things that you've done for that. Well, some let's see, some of the stuff came from our house. The Roberts that came from our house. Mm -hmm. We always had that on our mantle. So to me, putting that there, just this is our home. Living the dream. I mean, aren't we all? And it's Julie's just, Julie's favorite holiday is St. Patrick's Day, so of course you know that's yeah. already up, even though it's February. <laughs> because once one holiday ends, you prepare for the next one. That's right. And so when this what on the 18th of March, it would be Easter. Oh, oh Easter. On the 18th, the day after. So we kept some of the things that made us feel like this is a home. Of course, now we added our our new tagline, and I made the little white sign because um, we just like to add different things here and there. Um, I wish I could say that I did macrame myself, but I realized that that was a huge undertaking to remember how I used to do it. So I bought that and the one on the door instead. I did not attempt to make it. And I am not letting you get out of this tour without showing your most prized possession in the kitchen. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, this right here, this right here. And let me tell you, I just made pizza dough with it at lunchtime today. So I use it a lot. It's a miniature version. It, I mean, it's like 30, 35 pounds. It's super lightweight. Oh, it's not 35 pounds. It's, it's 25. Not it's not I don't know. It's way lighter. It's way but, lighter than the one she had at home. And the bowl is smaller, but it works. I mean, you can still bake in an RV. Not that I'm baking. I make other things. She ordered this <laughs> secretly without telling me. And then it showed up and I was like, okay, I get it. You can have it. Yeah, because I had one and I said the whole time, it's going with us, it's going with us. And then I went to look at it and I went, it can't go. It's too big. So we compromised and have a really tiny coffee pot. <laughs> yeah. 
we'll show our pantry just because that's that's something that's pretty organized. Ta-da! It's actually everybody says these these type of pantries are really narrow and you can't get a lot of food. I'm telling you, you have to master Tetris, but you can do it. There's it's a lot of food. Um, we use this for a lot of extra stuff, stuff that we need every now and then, like dog bags and. Um, you know, Speaking liquor of which, cabinet. Here, and, here's the star of the show. That's yeah, right. That's his daddy. <laughs> you did so good. <laughs> <laughs> but we've lived in here over two years now. Yeah. So we didn't really change. We didn't. A lot of people paint walls and tear out like couches. We didn't do any of that. Oh, it feels really we, nice in here. It feels we homey. didn't want yeah. to. Not yet. I think one day when we say, okay, we're kind of getting tired of the dark cabinets. I want them all white. We'll just have them painted white. And then it'll feel like a brand new But if again. I wait long enough, dark could come back. So right. I, I could just put it off long enough. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but like I just did the succulent um, plant holder behind you the other day. I just felt like that would make it seem more of a home. And it's you know, the little things that think that make yeah. a big difference. Here's our master bathroom. Pretty self explanatory. We did not do anything other than. You added a shelf? No? Did you add a shelf? I don't think we've done anything about that. No. Oh, we changed the toilet uh, seat. Oh, yeah. Does it? Yeah. yeah. So no. instead of having the grooves on the yeah. back, it's so much easier to clean. And we Which, added the Max Air fan. Oh, yeah. We added. So for some reason, oh, yeah. the master didn't have the good fan. No, ours didn't either. So we, yep, yeah. Jason did that. And then this is our bedroom. So we opted for the king size bed. So Which I don't get a side. He doesn't Julie get gets the nice nightstand. <laughs> I feel but like you're. I feel like you're not liking that. That's wonderful. <laughs> and then we added the uh, TV in here, and that's yeah. that's really. I mean, that's all we've done in here. This is. Just Were those blue lights stock? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. They, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I had to add ours. Yeah, and so this this particular model of momentum the it's a custom cut so the bed had to be custom made because of that front corner so luckily yeah, it curls around it's kind of a weird it's a yeah. rounded edge yeah. yeah so we had to we obviously wanted to upgrade the mattress so we had to do that this is just like our catch-all and then of course <laughs> my vinyl stuff um but this is jason gets his whole closet and this is mine see he does so well <laughs> I'm hoping yours and show that you don't do so well. No, well, I do too. My, <laughs> mine's fine. I'm just teasing. And then that stuff, if if I open that door, things could fall out. You know, <laughs> does anyone have one yeah. of those? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys got decent storage in here, though. That's yeah. Nice. And under the bed, I mean, that that's, we love that. The only the problem storage. that I, with this RV, is that all the weight is on the, on the one side. You got you, you got your closets, yeah. which are heavy on one side. You got your refrigerator stove. Mm -hmm pantry everything on one side so. so when our daughter lived with us <laughs> this up above was her room yep oh the loft yep, yep. the loft there. was her room and of course she's gone now so this is storage storage <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then we have the half bath. yeah we have the half bath back here which kind of goes as a utility closet and bathroom it works. But it's nice to have in cases of emergency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm very thankful. I don't know that we would ever want an RV without two bathrooms at this point. I think it, that makes a huge difference. So, um, yes, obviously we took our benches out. Jason, you want to talk about Yeah, we took our here? benches out, put these tabletops in, and now they're his So they go desk. up and down on the happy jack. Yep. You can and raise them and lower them. Queen size bed up here for guests. And then this. What do you call this? Angle iron? Yeah, it's an angle bracket. Yeah. Jason added that, so when I'm doing laundry, I can hang up anything I want because I don't like to dry everything and it ruins your clothes faster. So I like to hang things. So that's where I hang them, and the dehumidifier helps dry them faster. And then we have most recent addition to our office is my plexiglass sticker wall. <laughs> Our wall of friends. Our wall of friends. Yeah. There you that go. That have stickers anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that is been very a lot cool. of fun. We still keep ours in a book, so this is uh, well, you that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah, we did it on this plexiglass, so we can, um, if we change rigs, we can still yep. take it with us. Yeah. yeah. 
That's but why we don't want to put ours on the rig. Yeah. I need a bunch of stickers this size. See this little one? Yeah. I need that size <laughs> to fill in all the gaps. But I haven't found anybody else that makes a sticker that small. <laughs> but yeah, this this stuff we put up immediately, and I don't. We've never changed any of that. Yeah, those two were. Well, that one was in the old RV. I made that one. That a friend one was made at that our house. one. Yeah. Yep. And then those were gifts. We have no decorations in the bathroom because everything that was in there, my daughter took with her. So. Talk about your heat press. Oh yes, this is my heat press. Oh yeah. When I make any kind of apparel, this is exactly where I use it. It's perfect because it can hold the weight of it and it doesn't hurt it at all. Um, it's not what I initially thought I would have because I had a much bigger one that was like 20 years old and was amazing, but. We had to go lighter, so <laughs> otherwise we'd be overweight, right? Yep. <laughs> so this is 32 pounds. That is definitely 32 mm -hmm. And it doesn't do as good, but it still does a great job. I'm just very picky. And then we have our deck. <laughs> For after work. Yes. Yeah. But it is nice to have because um, when we, you know, when we're back here working, we can, we can open it up and it's not, dark back here and yeah. feels like a dungeon and we've had yeah. Yeah, it's, windows. And it's really weird. When a rainy day, I feel like you're in a cave. <laughs> you know, <laughs> even with this window and that window yeah. open and that one. If that's not open, I feel enclosed. So that to me, not even going out there, just having the ability to see more yep. makes you feel and like And there's a TV outside. back here, but we never use it. Yeah, this swings down. And the reason we don't use it is because when it's down, you can hit your head on it. <laughs> Yeah. But when it's up, you have to crane your neck to see it. So it just sits there. Yep. Oh, and this, we added this cabinet. It's a steel cabinet. It, we've never bracketed it or done anything to it. It hasn't moved an inch. But it's locking so we can make sure the doors stay shut in transit. <laughs> Somebody has a lot of weight in it. Thanks for joining us on the tour of our home. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on every media that there is, I think, right? Pretty yes. much everything. And uh, while you're at it, have you subscribed to RV Your Way? Because you should. Thanks for watching.